Welcome to Second Life. This is One Big River Stork, and I'm going to teach you today how to build a lamp that you can use in your own piece of land or in whatever build you're going to build. To start off, we're going to need to pick up some supplies, including some textures and some scripts that'll be useful. Those are stored at my house. If you want to pick up your own box full of supplies, you can just look for my house. If you search for OBR's house up here in the right hand corner in the search box. See OBR's house. And then you'll see you have the option to teleport there. So go ahead and click teleport. Now you'll actually end up at the Telehub where I live in Caledon Mayfair. And straight ahead of you, you'll see this nice white building. If you just walk this direction, you'll get to my house. So now you've reached my house. In order to get your supplies to build your lamp, you can just open up this red box. Right click on it, and take a copy. Now you're going to want to find some place to work on your build. You could visit one of the sandboxes. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and go up to my workshop platform. Here I am. Now you can see here I've already constructed the light that we're going to work on today. We'll start off with the basic lamp itself and then we'll look at some of the advanced features. Now, in order to see what the lamp will really look like at night, you might want to change the time of day to be midnight. Anytime that you want to change the time of day, you can just go to world, for sun, and then pick your favorite time of day. Okay, it looks a lot more like a lamp at night. Now this lamp has a couple of features. You'll notice it has volumetric lighting, and it also has a feature that you can click it to turn it on and off. And you can see that it, it it emits light. Now go to your inventory and find the box of supplies that you took. You'll notice you have one right here. It's called the stand lamp kit. Drag that onto the ground. The supplies that you need for your project are actually inside the box. In order to open up a box that you've purchased, right click and now you'll notice that you have the option to open it. When you open a box, you'll see a list of the contents in the box and the option to copy those to your inventory or to copy and wear. Of course, in this case, it doesn't make sense. So we'll copy to the, our inventory. And automatically, a couple of things will happen. The first one is any textures or note cards that are in the inventory of that object will get automatically opened so we can see them. And we'll go ahead and say that we want to keep all of these items. The second thing that you'll notice that will happen is down in our inventory, we now have a folder that has the same name as the box that we opened. Let's look in there. You'll notice that you have a number of textures and you have two scripts. This icon denotes texture. This icon denotes a script. We'll save those for later. If you want to be uh, nice to whoever's land you're building on, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and pick up your trash after yourself, so I'll go ahead and delete this box. So now we're going to start building. One of the first things that you need to master if you're going to do very much building in Second Life is control of the camera. Hopefully you got a chance to try that out in orientation or on Help Island, but since a lot of you are new, I'll start out just go over that. Remember, if you want to look at something up close, you can hold the alternate key. If you hold the Alt key, you'll notice that your mouse turns into a magnifying glass. Now, while holding the Alt key, click on an object. Now your camera is going to look directly at that object. If you move your mouse to the right, you'll rotate one direction. If you move it to the left, you'll rotate the other direction. If you move the mouse up, you zoom in, or back zooms you out. Okay, That's the basic camera control. And as we go along, we'll talk about some other ways to control the camera. 
Now let's look at our lamp up close. We're going to start off by just building a basic lamp. Stand, the base, and a light bulb, and a light, and a shade. Okay. Now, every object in Second Life is built out of geometrical primitives, or prims for short. In order to create our first one, let's right click anywhere on the screen and go to the Create option. When you do that, you'll see that you now have a menu on the left hand side that gives you a list of primitives that you can select. We're going to start by building the base of our lamp. For the base of our lamp, we're going to pick a cone. Now you notice that you have many different options for geometrical primitives to pick, but they really come in uh, essentially three or four flavors. The first are cubes, and then some variations on cubes, and pyramids and prisms. You have cylinders, and also half cylinders and cones that are based on cylinders. You have spheres, and you have a torus, so a hollow cylinder or a donut shape. 